I've taken this trip countless times, often alone, many times late at night, so as to arrive before the sun begins its ascent over Montauk Point, the easternmost end of Long Island, New York. Montauk Point is exactly 118 miles from Midtown Manhattan. It is where the Algonquian-speaking tribe the Montaukets once lived and are buried still atop an ancient hill overlooking their ancestral lands. This is the place that at three in the morning I decide it's time to take a ride and visit once again, to go clear the head, gather some thoughts, and zero in on life's higher purpose, to paint, draw, and write. Less than 4,000 people live in Montauk year-round. It is a summer destination spot. Famous for its surfing and fishing and shark tournaments. It is where the great sport fisherman Frank Mundus lived. 
and who is said to be the inspiration for the character Quint in the movie and book Jaws. Oddly enough, Montauk Point is also home to America's oldest cattle ranch, Deep Hollow Cattle Ranch, established in 1658. Atop the hill overlooking the ranch, it is where, in 1898, Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders were quarantined for months after the Spanish-American War. Today, Deep Hollow is a horse stable with beautiful spotted Appaloosa for hire. On the southeastern tip of Montauk, at Camp Hero, formerly the Montauk Air Force Station, decommissioned in 1981, an antenna and a bunker or two, the last remnants of where once secret U.S. government projects were conducted for the purpose of developing psychological warfare techniques. And even, if you can believe it, research for time travel. But now it's a state park with thousands of acres preserved for posterity. Time seems to slow considerably here in Montauk, atop these bluffs a hundred feet over the Atlantic Ocean. To be here is to be enraptured. It is transportive and awakens the primordial spirit within. What a welcoming sight to peer at the sea I can do it for hours on end, just staring down at the ebb and flow of the tide and watching and listening as millions of rocks, millions of years old, shift effortlessly back and forth all along the shoreline, bellowing beneath the water and getting pulverized into sand. Erosion is inevitable. It is a natural occurrence and only a problem when your house ends up in the ocean.
I can walk along these shores every day, climb these cliffs. The inspiration found here is unending. These broken lands that the erosion creates are magical. They are these tall spires of rock and sand, much like the hoodoos found in the high plateaus of the Colorado Plateau and the Badland regions of the Northern Great Plains. But these hoodoos are here in Montauk and they are here to stay. They might change a little year after year, but so too do we. These stellar surf totems of mine were made for this place. In fact, they were made because of it. Inspired by the light and by the sea and by the topography. Like having the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost all in one room. It's spectacular. And spiritual, no doubt. This is where my earliest childhood memories were formed. Fishing with Dad and running along the beach with my brothers. Throwing rocks at the ocean. In 1888, Walt Whitman, the great American poet, found his way to Montauk Point, and he wrote, I stand as on some mighty eagle's beak, eastward the sea absorbing, viewing, nothing but sea and sky. The tossing waves, the foam, the ships in the distance, the wild unrest, the snowy curling caps, that inbound urge and urge of waves, seeking the shores forever. How can you not love that? And this place that inspired that? Many a great artist have walked this path, from Whitman to Warhol, William Merritt Chase to Julian Schnabel. And here I am once again, totem in hand, looking for the right shot, where the sun will shine through the totem just so creating the right balance of lights and darks. The contrast here are exquisite. And it was here many years ago creating art back then with charcoal on paper that I met Peter Beard, the world renowned photographer. And we spoke of those ephemeral arts like surfing and bullfighting and how fleeting they and life both are and how they exist for that one moment in time and it put things in perspective our time here erodes faster than these cliffs it was then and there I realize there can be no regrets in life. For living a life with regrets would be like having pockets full of tax. I've kept as little in my pockets ever since. Hands sometimes, but even those serve me best staying dirty and breathing life. Montauk is where I go 
to be small for a few moments and to consider all that is bigger than me, to realize that everything is bigger than me, and to reinforce that every moment matters, is valuable, and has purpose. What a place what a place to be and to exist, to keep throwing rocks and to make art inspired from it all. In 1792, George Washington had commissioned the construction of the Montauk Lighthouse, the first in the state of New York.